hey guys welcome back to my channel um it's what 129 on a random wednesday afternoon and i want to cut my hair but i just cut it like what two months ago so i don't know i don't feel like going to the barber shop today there's actually one not too far from me but i don't feel like living in the house because i don't have anything else to do so i decided that i actually wanted to dye the same color again just bleach it and dye it. <sighs> i always live close to a highway anyway i'm sorry if you hear any background noise i have my fan running i live close to a highway so vehicles are going up and down and i'm watching total drama island right now so um yes where was i i was in i got semi-permanent dye the last time i don't mess with permanent dye it's always semi permanent because i love changing up the color every so often but i do not have any extra colors on hand right now and i don't feel like going to the beauty supply to get anything so i'm just gonna do lavender but i also wanted to bleach my eyebrows I don't know why but i really i've never bleached my eyebrows never and i would really want to try it um i wanted to dye the same color with my hair to lavender but i don't think i'm ready for that kind of commitment so i'm gonna be trying out i have this lilac twinkle palette and I'm gonna be trying out this color right here on my eyebrows just to see how well it would go before I decide to just dye it. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I can't find my eyebrow brush anywhere. So I might just have to take a new one. I have like three brush sets but I insist on using just one and I refuse to wash it and I'm starting to break out so I need to wash those brushes today um I have a whole lot of things to do body wise I need to um you know wax so or shave my legs and my armpits I feel I'm just gonna shave it in the shower so I mean, got the brush and I'm gonna be using like this mirror right there. I don't know how this is gonna come out since like my eyebrows are black, so like not much pigment is gonna show up, but it's doing a little something. I I really want to try out the lavender brows, but I think what i was thinking of is just putting on makeup actually and just using the eyeshadow to do my brows every single time that i feel like i want it because i used to do that with red eyeshadow but i don't know i wanted it to last pretty long and i'm not sure this has a lot of fallout I think it's gonna look good. But I don't know with the black hair. Is that like in the I mean oh my god, I keep hating this mirror. Ever since I bought it, I've been hitting it on bed frames, walls, doors, everywhere is still with it and I'm just hitting it now with an eyeshadow palette. I think it's gonna look like the true um hmm. i'm liking this i'm liking it a lot but is it gonna look like that when i died it's not exactly looking like 
it's true form i guess with the black hair because i am going to bleach my hair i'm thinking of keep i want color i want color in one either in my hair or my eyebrows so if i bleach my hair and just keep it that way i will have to put the color in my brows but if i put color in my hair then i would just have to leave my brows bleached now i went on tiktok and i looked up bleached brows filters and i actually kind of sort of i don't know maybe look good i mean with makeup this is going to look perfect but i'm trying to see how well i will like it when i wake up in the morning because i'm not gonna wake up with a full face of makeup am i i don't know i'm liking it i want to bleach my brows i don't know want to dye it up in it does look good i like it and if i don't like it i could always just do my brows because i have black and when i need color i just go to any palette i have in my makeup bag okay so this is what it looks like um i'm thinking of just using shadow whenever i want to do color but i want to bleach my brows i'm gonna insert the picture of what i look like with my brows bleach with the filter i don't know how it would look like in person but i mean i could always do it black then the thing is it would show up so dark i do not have a light hand at all so it will show up dark i don't know i like it i'm probably going to dye my eyebrows lavender this is what it looks like so <laughs> let me know what y'all think down below because i don't know i really and truly don't know i'm going to go wet my hair and get started with my little bleach and developer portion so i will check back in with you guys in a minute okay so i usually have a little bowl in my bathroom specifically for mixing and stuff but i think i threw it out when i moved and i can't find it anywhere so i'm in the kitchen i'm gonna use that one i don't know it should be enough i'm using um what's that superstar 40 volume cream peroxide developer but a while ago for some reason for the very first time i decided to read the back of my um bleach <laughs> and it literally says do not use higher than 20 volume developer for on scalp application it literally has to touch my scalp my hair isn't even one inch or anything so I don't care because I do not read these things. I just mix. But it says do not do one-on-one. Um, -on -one. And I think you're not supposed to use um, metal stuff with it. I'm not sure. So I always, I don't know if it's this one or if it was the Aztec clay thingy. So I'm, I'm gonna use like a random plastic fork I have. I'm gonna use a random one. I still have to whip my hair, but I don't know. I hope this is still good. Will this be enough for my hair? It says not to mix one on one, so I don't even know what's the right consistency i don't concern myself <laughs> i'm sorry do not try this at home always go to a professional if you have to do it by yourself maybe read and actually follow the instructions that are written on the product i'm not gonna do it but you should um I nearly threw it down hold on let me just read this a bit okay um i'm gonna mm, 
I'm gonna wet my hair and come back. I am back. Um, got my little portion. I don't think it has enough. I am going to try and protect my edges. The last time I did not do that, but then again, I didn't even get enough bleach on my edges. It's still black, kind of. Um, I got gloves. Look at us upgrading. I got gloves, another plastic bag. Um, I'm gonna have to really grease it up. I literally got that for my eyebrow, but better to be safe than sorry, I guess. What is that? Oh my god. I have a pair of headphones using and it's feeling so bad it's literally just dropping little black things on me that's enough protection i want to get this done and over with already how long am i supposed to keep that the last time i did like 30 minutes i don't think you're supposed to leave it for so long let me just google quickly i don't think i have the right ratios for anything but google helped a bit so i think i'm better off than last time those gloves are so short what is my mother saying lol to um but oh yes how long to leave the way Maximum is 30. I did not know that. I always left it for 30 minutes. Or like just because I really went like I didn't know that anyway. I when I googled it, it said it should be the consistency of shampoo and is this the consistency of shampoo? That's so bad and you should not be inhaling these things, but I'm just cleaning the Okay. Again, this is not how you should be doing this at all, but do I look like I care? My scalp has been itching like crazy all day long and I've been scratching it like crazy all day long. Should not have done that. I think I'm gonna get burned. I'm trying not to, but this smells so bad. It is burning my eyeballs. I'm trying to make sure everyone has enough because I always have those little black patches. Especially in like the middle hair my perimeter it's not okay it's not always fine the front is usually fine but the back not so much and i'm running out of bleach oh my god um i got bleach on my favorite legging It's already starting to really show, but I'm getting bleach on everything. That's not a good look. I've never been this messy with it. I'm telling y'all again, do not do any of this at home. Go to a professional. Because I'm risking some serious chemical burns here. I've always wanted to dye my hair grey or like a nice white silverish ex like exactly how it's looking right now because I know I would look so good with it I don't know what's stopping me but then I think I just like color a little too much it's like just imagine me with like white hair I would look so good I got bleach on my favorite pair of leggings and I don't know when I'm going to find one like it again because every time I went from SNS. Who's calling me at this hour? I got from SNS, and every time I go back, they only have from like two XL up to four XL in the leggings. They never have 
the one XL for me. I don't know if they're really small or if I'm just fat or whatnot, but one XL. Oh my god, what time is it? Since I'm using my phone to film, I completely forgot to set the timer and thing, but it's 2 or 7 right now. If you see I'm not answering your call, just stop calling me, Jesus. I think I put too much developer. Because it's really taking its time for it to show the orange. But it's coming through. I'm sitting in front of my window because I didn't want to turn on my ring light or the light in my bedroom. I don't know if the light is good, but the sun is hiding behind some clouds right now. Okay, for some reason, I can never get my nip right. I always need to call somebody. I don't know how the back is looking. Let me show you the back. Okay, the volume is not bad. Okay, it's over there. Okay, what about my nip? I could I don't know, but I got it all the way down there because I can feel some hair there. And I just bring it across just to be on the safe side. Go to a professional. I think by now I should put a cap on or something just to like process. Go to a professional, do not listen to me. Um, I'm trying to stand. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hand and whatnot. I'll check back in with you guys when I finish this. So now I'm just waiting for this to process and my scalp is itchy. So itchy and it's taking everything in me not to scratch it like crazy because I know I will get a burn. And I hate this. My scalp is so sensitive, but just waiting for this. I will get back in with you guys as soon as I rinse it out and dye it, I guess. I don't know if y'all want to see the whole process thing, but I will dye my hair pretty often. So just let me know if you want to see the entire thing instead of me just skipping through and whatnot. And actually try to do it properly for once instead of just doing some madness but i will see you guys in a bit i'm going to watch total drama island look at my beautiful golden locks uh it looks so much better in person it's literally like gold i just shampooed and rinsed my hair this is what it's looking like um i'm so tempted to leave it exactly like this but this is going to be my next color i'll probably do it maybe next month or dye it like this for my birthday my birthday is the 27th of this month it's the first of february by the way um my birthday is on the 27th but i really really love this color and i've always wanted to try it so i'm probably gonna do it for my birthday but for now we are going to what color is it not purple um Oh my god, violet, yes. It's violet, I think. This is the color I used the last time and this is the color I'm going to be using again. Violet jam. Once again, I do not have gloves and will be doing the color with a plastic bag because I used the very last two gloves I had a while ago, so... I don't know, I'm sorry. Totally thing. I'm sitting like directly in front of the window. I literally washed out one of the gloves and use it because i don't feel like dealing with stained fingertips right now um i'm gonna quickly um put this in then put the cup and wait for everything to be good and i will check back in with you guys there's water all inside of the gloves so if you see anything falling it's just water I feel like I'm about to burn everything in my room right now with this. Like, I don't know, but 
again go to a professional do not watch people like me if you want to do it yourself look for a professional on youtube but do not <laughs> follow this it's not a tutorial i just did my hour long everything shower if you know you know but i am tired i am hungry <laughs> very fussy actually i'm literally out of breath so i'm going to eat um do my makeup i don't know what time it is but it literally should be around like 3 30 or minutes to 4 by now i'm going to shop oh i shot already i'm going to eat do my makeup and then show you guys the final look it's 5 p.m and i just want to go wash this off my face um i got lazy at the end of the makeup i could not find a nice lip gloss um, i was too lazy to make one since i usually just mix a bunch to make a custom color or something but um this is the final look and um oh wow <sighs> that's what it looks like i don't feel like going on lashes just for two minutes and then taking it off because i already have to go wash my face and do a whole million step skincare routine but um this is it um this is the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes, um, I don't know, but I removed it up close because, yeah, I don't want y'all to see my mustache because I refuse to shave it off. I don't care. Anyway, this is it. Um, ugh. See, that's why I don't really like to wear makeup like that. I always touch my face on everything. Um, if you're interested in any of the products that I used on my face. Um, I'm gonna link it down in the description below. So make sure to check that out. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.